In chapter 8, we're interested in two completely different kinds of flows. On the first part of chapter 8, we study flows for which the representative length is extremely large. Maybe we're talking about flow around an airplane, or wind flowing around a mountain. Flows in general for which the size, the main guiding size, would be dozens or even hundreds of meters long. Such flows, in practice, they are extremely difficult to investigate numerically uh, because of the computational resources that are involved in it. And so typically we look for solutions that we can derive analytically with paper to have a basic idea about how the flow is going to look like before we dive into computational fluid dynamics or CFD. In the second part of chapter 8, we look at flows for which the representative scale is extremely small. And maybe we're talking about flow um, of blood around the bacteria, or maybe flow of air around a piece of dust falling to the ground very slowly. Flows in general in which the, the size, the representative size is a millimeter or less, very, very small scale flows. And studying these two completely different flows um, is not representative of the whole size spectrum. It gives us an idea about which phenomena are important, which end of the spectrum, and so it improves our culture about which kinds of flow we encounter in general in nature or in engineering problems. There's a question you can answer as a preparation for chapter 8, and it's the following. What is, for each of those two flows, the guiding equation that we're going to try to solve? What is the guiding equation? And to answer that, you can look back on chapter 6 at the non-dimensional Navier-Stokes equation. Try to write it down, including all its terms, and to figure out, in that equation, which terms we are going to be able to cross out in each of those two extremes of the flow. In other terms, which terms become increasingly important and which terms become negligibly small in which type of flow for the two extremes that, that we study. And doing this will help you tremendously prepare for chapter 8, for which I'll see you Thursday in the lecture hall.